Good afternoon, everybody. Yes, I am back with scripture readings. I have been nudged by the Most High to start doing this again, and I'll have to ask forgiveness for not paying attention and not getting it done until a couple of people asked if I'd be doing it again. And that is totally on me and totally what I should not have done. I should, I should have been doing this as soon as I got nudged. So, obviously we're not getting through this in a year, but I will stop or start where I left off a few months back, which is going to be 2 Kings chapter 19. I'm only going to do one chapter today. It's got some names in here that I'm going to have to stumble over and work through. So forgive me if I mispronounce stuff and try to get things said right and, and don't. But I hope you all are having a blessed day. So here we go. 2 Kings chapter 19. And it came to pass when King Hezekiah heard it, that he rent his clothes and covered himself with sackcloth and went into the house of the Lord. And he sent Eliak, Eliakim, which was over the household, and Shebna, the scribe, and the elders of the priests, covered with sackcloth, to Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos. And they said unto him, Thus said Hezekiah, This day is a day of trouble, and of rebuke, and blasphemy. For the children are come to the birth, and there is not strength to bring forth. It may be the Lord thy God will hear all the words of Rabshakeh, who the king of Assyria, his master, hath sent to reproach the living God, and will reprove the words which the Lord thy God hath heard. Wherefore, lip, lift up thy prayer for the remnant that are left. So the servants of king Hezekiah came to Isaiah. And Isaiah said unto them, Thus shall ye say to your master, Thus saith the Lord, Be not afraid of the words which thou hast heard, with which the servants of the king of Assyria hast blasphemed me. Behold, I will send a blast upon him, and he shall hear a rumor, and shall return to his own land, and I will cause him to fall by the sword in his own land. So Rab Shekeh returned, and found the king of Assyria warring against Libna, for he had heard that he was departed from Lashish. And when he heard say of Turakah, king of Ethiopia, Behold, he has come out to fight against thee. He sent messengers again unto Hezekiah, saying, Thus shall ye speak to Hezekiah, king of Judah, saying, let not thy God, in whom thou trustest, deceive thee, saying, Jerusalem shall not be delivered unto the hand of the king of Assyria. Behold, thou hast heard what the kings of Assyria have done to all lands, by destroying them utterly, and shalt thou be delivered. Have the gods of the nations delivered them, which my fathers have destroyed, as Gozan, and Haran, and Rezeph, and the children of Eden, which were in Thelassar. Where is the king of Hamath, and the king of Arpad, and the king of the city of Sepharvim, of Hena, and Iva? And Hezekiah received the letter of the land of the messengers, and read it. And Hezekiah went up into the house of the Lord, and spread it before the Lord. And what? I don't know why I mispronounced it. I apologize. And Hezekiah prayed before the Lord and said, O Lord God of Israel, which dwellest between the cherubims, thou art the God, even thou alone, of all the kingdoms of the earth, thou hast made heaven and earth. Lord, bow down thine ear and hear. Open, Lord, thine eyes and see and hear the words of Sennacherib. Ha, 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 this is a good one. 
Sennacherib, which hath sent him to reproach the living God. Of a truth, Lord, the kings of Assyria have destroyed the nations and their lands, and have cast their gods into the fire, for they were no gods but the work of men's hands, wood and stone, therefore they have destroyed them. Now therefore, O Lord our God, I beseech thee, save thou us out of his hand, that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that thou art the Lord God, even thou only. Then Isaiah the son of Amos sent to Hezekiah, saying, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, That which thou hast prayed to me against Sennacherib, Sennacherib, king of Assyria, I have heard. This is the word that the Lord hath spoken concerning him. The virgin, the daughter of Zion, hath despised thee and laughed thee to scorn. The daughter of Jerusalem hath shaken her head at thee. Whom hast thou reproached and blasphemed? And against whom hast thou exalted thy voice and lifted up thine eyes on high, even against the Holy One of Israel? By thy messengers thou hast reproached the Lord and hast said, With the multitude of my chariots I am come up to the height of the mountains to the sides of Lebanon, and will cut down the tall cedar trees thereof, and the choice fir trees thereof, and I will enter into the lodgings of his borders, and into the forest of his Carmel. I have digged and drunk strange waters, and with the sole of my feet I have dried up all the rivers and of besieged places. Hast thou not heard long ago how I have done it, and of ancient times that I have formed it? Now I have brought it to pass that thou shouldest be to lay waste fenced cities into ruinous heaps. Therefore their inhabitants were of small power. They were dismayed and confounded. They were as the grass of the field and as the green herb, as the grass on the housetops and as corn blasted before it be grown up. But I know thy abode and thy going out and thy coming in and thy rage against me. Because thy rage against me and thy tumult is come up into mine ears, therefore I will put my hook in thy nose and my bridle in thy lips, and I will turn thee back to the way by which thou camest. And this shall be a sign unto thee. Ye shall eat this year such things as grow of themselves, and in the second year that which springeth of the same, and in the third year sow ye and reap, and plant vineyards, and eat the fruits thereof. And the remnant that is escaped of the house of Judah shall yet again take root downward and bear fruit upward. For out of Jerusalem shall go forth a remnant, and they that escape out of Mount Zion, the zeal of the Lord of hosts, shall do this. Therefore thus saith the Lord concerning the king of Assyria, He shall not come into this city, nor shoot an arrow there, nor come before it with shield, nor cast a bank against it. By the way that he came, by the same shall he return, and shall not come into this city, saith the Lord. For I will defend this city to save it, for mine own sake and for my servant David's sake. And it came to pass that night that the angel of the Lord went out and smote in the camp of the Assyrians and a hundred Forty score, a hundred, four score, and five thousand. And when they arose early in the morning, behold, they were all dead corpses. So Sennacherib, king of Assyria, departed and went and returned and dwelt with Nineveh. And it came to pass, as he was worshiping in the house of Nisroch, his god, that Adramelech and Sherezer. Sherezer, his son smote him with the sword, and they escaped into the land of Armenia. And Ezerhadon, his son, reigned in his stead. And that will do it for Second Kings chapter 19. I will do my very best to get these done every day again, get back on schedule. So I hope you all have a blessed day. Thanks for stopping by. Be kind to one another and we'll 
see you next time.